Hi, I'm Kevin Malloy, town councilman, town of Smithtown. You're watching KISS. Keep it safe, Smithtown. Enjoy the program. Fortune strikes such as a flood, earthquake, fire, or other disaster, you may have little or no time to protect your valuables. It is important to safeguard your treasured belongings and information from damage or loss. Today on KISS, we will help you with some simple steps to identify and protect your valuables if a disaster occurs. Once you have identified these valuables, including information, we'll show you some low-cost or no-cost measures to keep everything safe. The first step is to identify what you have. Go through your home to find your treasures. Make a list and check off your valuables. The list should include vital records such as a birth, marriage, divorce, adoption, child custody, and death certificates, passport, driver's license, or other identification documents, social security cards, property leases, deeds, mortgages, and records. Financial documents, including copies of pay stubs, bank accounts, etc. Legal titles for your auto and home. Insurance policies. Wills, living wills and power of attorney. Recent tax returns. Medical records, including lists of prescription medicines, medical conditions, medical provider contact information, copies of health insurance, Medicare, Medicaid cards, etc debit and credit card numbers, home or bank safe deposit information and keys, records of passwords and personal identification numbers, family photos, keepsakes, jewelry, or other mementos, photographic or data inventory such as photos, videos, CDs, and flash drives. Okay, so now you have identified your valuables. The next step is to protect them. Here are some no-cost or low-cost steps to protect your valuables. The first thing to do is create a photographic record or inventory of your valuables and store it in a safe deposit box or other off-site location. Consider keeping a copy on a CD or flash drive in your disaster kit so that you can provide it to your insurance company following a loss. This will allow you to start the insurance recovery process more quickly. Scan important records such as vital records, medical records, and financial documents and save the files on disk or flash drives. You may also want to password protect the data that you have stored in case of theft or loss. Store the backup records in a safe deposit box or other off-site location. If you have too many records or no way to scan or copy them, store them in a flood, fireproof home safe or safe deposit box. If you have valuable items stored in a basement, move them to a higher location to avoid water damage. Include any readily accessible records such as medical records, medical contact information, etc. in your disaster kit. In some cases, you may be able to protect valuables such as keepsakes in waterproof containers available in sporting goods or hardware stores. For smaller items, a flood fireproof home safe may provide temporary protection. Take precautions to protect yourself from identity theft when you create backup systems to store critical information. As disasters fill the news today, the first concern, of course, is to protect yourself and your loved ones. By taking a few precautionary measures up front and planning for a worst-case scenario, you can at least be better prepared emotionally and financially if a natural disaster strikes you or your loved ones. For KISS, this is Kenny Bernardini, and remember, Keep it safe, Smithtown.